Well, hello, everybody. Good evening. This is Brother Leslie Wiles, King James Bible Baptist Church, 1402 East Fulton Street, Garden City, Kansas. Amen. Amen. Trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy in Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey, listen, folks, it's Wednesday night. I had some folks called, of course, because of the situation there, wanted to be at home safe, and I don't blame them. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our online Bible study slash sermonette <clears throat> and hope you get a blessing from it. Um, I know some of y'all are going through a lot worse um, things than we are out here. It's not nearly as chaotic as in some of the other cities and states and towns and also just um, – Guys, I love you, and Lord. Hang in there. Um, let's let's go to Lord in prayer, right quick, okay? Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your blessings. Thank you for this time I can get out and um, share the word, Father. Father, these are um, crazy times, Lord, and we have a lot of problems right now with this coronavirus and all sorts of upheaval. Father, we just pray that that you would um, open our minds and our hearts to your word and give us peace, give us hope, give us comfort. And and Lord, you loved us so much, Father. Just 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 strengthen us and give us peace right now in this time in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Hey guys, good to see y'all. Stick around. We're gonna I'm gonna we're gonna be um I'm gonna be um teaching preaching right out of the book of Genesis, chapter twenty two. And we're gonna be discussing the testing of Abraham. And all you know, um <clears throat> some of you are not familiar. Somebody's calling, and naturally, they're going to call me right as the service would start. I am live, Pastor Brian. I am live recording. Call me later, brother. All right, that was Brother Brian calling me live. How about that? All right. In case you're wondering who Brother Brian is, he's my pastor. He's got King James Bible Baptist over there in New York City. All right. Basically, back to where I was, um, chapter 22, chapter 22 in Genesis. Folks, sorry, we had about five people. Now we're down to two. But anyway, um, we're going to be talking about the testing of Abraham, okay? You know, a lot of a lot of you folks out there are going through some problems, and I don't know what's the deal with this light or what's going on. Maybe it's just this thing right here. I don't know what's this. But anyway, I won't let the devil stop me from doing his Bible study. He's doing his best to try to destroy this country, destroy this world with this insane this insane virus. And that all it is, it's a virus. And I'm thinking that, you know, it's the devil's in the details on a lot of this stuff. But it's okay. It's okay. We're here. We're going to have Bible study. It's your King James Bibles, um, Genesis chapter 22. Get ready to start here. And um, all right, Genesis chapter 22. And I'm going to read um, from verse number one all the way through to 19. And I'm going to discuss it a little bit. Hey, Donald, yeah, I'm feeling all right, man. I don't have any virus or nothing but i got some sort of a light malfunction i have these um these lights these fluorescents but they're not flashing so i don't know if it's my shirt or what but anyway i'm neon today so probably why it's a flashing neon shirt <laughs> anyway here we go chapter 22 genesis chapter 22 all right and it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, he said, behold, here I am. And he said, take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning 
and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and cleaved the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. All right, verse number six. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son and took the fire in his hand and the knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them together. And they came to the place which God had told them of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him upon the altar of, upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. And he said, lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold behind him a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day in the mount of the Lord, it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men. They rose up and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. All right. Some of y'all have probably heard the story. Some of y'all haven't. What we're looking at here is a picture of faith. Trust and obey. Just like the song was playing when we first started. Trust and obey. Well, there's no other way. That's right. Abraham was tested. Tested in his faith. Abraham loved his son Isaac so very much. His only son. You know, I can relate to Abraham, and, you know, on this generation, I've got three daughters, and i got the youngest boys a son. So I can relate to that. And, you know, you know, as parents, we, the last thing we want is to see our children suffer. So you wonder why in the world would God have Abraham to do such a thing? What kind of, what kind of, what, what kind of, why would he do something like that? First of all, friends, let me tell you, that is a picture of what God, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That upon that altar of sacrifice is a picture of Christ on the cross. Paying it all for you and me. 
how in all that time, Abraham, how do you think he felt? I'm going to have to take my son and sacrifice him? Wow. <laughs> and he probably would have done it too. The Lord stopped him. Of course, the Lord had no intention of seeing the boy hurt. But, you know, he, you know, he showed, he, he proved that he loved the Lord and was obedient to the Lord. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, more often or not, you know, we go on about our own ways. You know, we don't think about what the Lord done for us. You know, just as Abraham was told to sacrifice his son, he would have done it. God sacrificed his son. The Bible said, John 1, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. There are three that bear witness heaven, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, one God in three parts. The word became flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ, in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. And because he became flesh, that's why he's the son of God, the only begotten. Why begotten? Because he is physically begat. Why? Because the Holy Ghost put his seed into Mary. He's begotten, not the one and only son. These NIVs and these ASVs, for God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son. Well, if that's his one and only son, I'm in trouble. Hello? There's the only begotten son, and there are sons of God. I'm a child of God by the grace of God. And because of what he did on the cross, I'm washed in the blood. So I'm a child of God, a son of God, because of the blood atonement on the cross at Calvary. And if you're washed in the blood, born again, believer, you in the same way. Amen, amen. So what we're looking at over here is the ultimate sacrifice. And you know what? This child, you know, Isaac, the picture of Jesus. That's right. You know, he, a child, you know, he's a, his own son. Amazing, isn't it? You know, let me ask you a question, friends. What would you do for the Lord? Now, I'm not saying would you do something like that. God don't, God don't ask you to do that. But what would you do for the Lord? You know, what if he asked you to do something like, well, first of all, he's asking all to come to repentance. He's saying for all, he wants none to perish. He wants all to come to repentance. So the number one thing God wants you to do is for you to get saved. For you to get saved. That's right. He wants you to have a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus said, I am the way. You know, Abraham, <laughs> Abraham, it was hard on him. You know, verse 10, and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here I am. He said, lay not thine hand upon the lad. Yeah. Yeah, he was testing him, all right. What a test it was. And because of that test, look how he blessed him. Most abundantly out of, out of Abraham's seed comes the Messiah comes a great nation. And it's through that great nation, the Jewish nation, the Israeli, is that we have a Messiah. It's because of that. You know, salvation is of the Jews. Why? Because the Lord Jesus Christ came from there. Now, there is no replacement theology. The church, the body of Christ, does not replace Israel. No, it does not. Okay? Israel's Jacob. Israel's Israel. Church is the church. Okay? Never, ever, ever, ever. Confuse the two or put them together as one. They are not. Okay? People need to know that. But folks, God loved us so much. Okay? And he gave his only begotten. The word became flesh. The perfect lamb of God, sinless, perfect. 
the only one qualified to pay for your sin debts and mine died on the cross for your sins paid every sin you've ever committed in past present and future he paid it all 100 percent the last words he uttered on the cross was it is finished not partially completely you are saved to the uttermost amen jesus said you must be born again are you born again are you born again let me tell you something friend only one there's only one only really one sin that sends you to hell that's dying without the lord jesus christ that means you've been rejecting him and you rejecting him and then you died without being saved not a good idea friends let me tell you something god so loved you he paid it all jesus paid it all so you wouldn't have to and i wouldn't have to tell you something friends with this coronavirus going on this china virus or chinese virus or kung flu or whatever you want to call it it can take a life it's taking lives left and right old and young you might think you strong physically when god calls you home you better be ready spiritually friend God sends nobody to hell. You choose your destination. You send yourself to hell by rejecting that gift of salvation that Jesus Christ paid for on the cross. So what's it going to be, friend? If you want to go to heaven, you got to go to the cross. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins, to wash you in his blood, and save your soul. Jesus come pay for our sins and to save our souls from hell fire and believe me jesus christ yeah, i can i can count a dozen times where he talks about hell as fire and punishment I'm telling you friends you don't need to go there okay believe on the lord jesus christ trust the lord today for your salvation because you might not have tomorrow okay friends now, some of y'all got life insurance. Some of y'all are preparing. Some of y'all are preppers. Oh, I got to get this. I got to do that. And I better get me some more water and, you know, 10,000 rolls of toilet paper <laughs> in case we get into some deep stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you better get saved, friend. You better get saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. By grace we are saved, remember. Ask him to save you. You can't get unsaved. Ask him to save you today. This is Brother Leslie Wilds, King James Bible Baptist Church, 1402 East Fulton, Garden City, Kansas. Guys, 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 I love you guys so very, very much. I do love you and the Lord, and I'm here to tell you, the Lord don't want to see anybody, anyone going to hell. I don't want to see anyone going to hell. So why don't you look to Christ for your salvation? Telling you, friends, why don't you ask the Lord right now to save you? Why don't you ask him right now where you're at? Why don't you ask him right now? Say, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know and I believe in my I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and you rose again. And I ask right now that you would wash away my sins with your precious blood and save my soul. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You do that, friend. You're born again, you're saved. Okay, it is a spiritual thing. Okay, you must be born again. Jesus said it himself. I hope and pray that you choose eternal life. I hope and pray that you choose eternal life because you know what? Only one of two places, heaven or hell, you make the choice. I love you folks very much in the Lord. This is Brother Leslie, and listen, um, you know, if I get hit with the corona, whatever, now if I got body aches, I'm probably going to be in bed. 
But if I'm halfway coherent, I'm going to be shooting a video. I might look like a train wreck, but it's okay. I'm going to keep preaching and sharing my faith while I've got the energy in my body and the breath in my lungs. So may the Lord richly bless you all, folks. I'm praying for everybody, praying for this nation, praying for this president. And um, okay, Brother Brian, you can call me now. We'll see you later. Peace.